What's up, everybody? It is another episode of Hell's Kitchen. We're super excited because we do have a special guest with us, and uh, best believe it's going to be amazing. Let's get it. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Hey, with the Frank with the finger points. <laughs> And Robin joins in. Yeah. Oh, come it's on, Robin. Wave, it's a wave. Don't, come, don't, on, Lynn. Don't. come on, Lynn. Come on, Lynn. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. I'm not going to do eight. it. I promise I won't do it. I'm going to throw something at you. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. It's not happening. I don't care. Subject to nearly peer pressure. Haters in the building. <laughs> Oh, man. What's up, everybody? You know what it is. Hell's Kitchen After Show. We are here. Food Network program, our Food Network channel. Give it up for our Food Network channel that we just launched. Hell's Kitchen is part of that. I'm your host, Lim Gonzalez, and you can find me always at the Poet Saint all day, every day. Next to me is, she's back, ladies and gentlemen, newest member of our panel. I'm super excited. She's did such an amazing job. Last time it is Ashley Cheney. You guys, hi. It's so good to be back. I love the intros every time. It makes me feel like a superstar. Uh, my name is Ashley Cheney, and if you guys want to talk food or anything else, like anything, find me online. I'm at Ashley on camera. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, she's back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy. My homie, my brunch homie, my, my church going homie. Be snacking. Oh, Robin McSweeney, what's up? Hey, it's Robin <laughs> with the V McSweeney back in the building. Um, I'm going to be live in the live chat, so don't be shy. Make sure you say hi. And you can find me at B Stays Busy. Yes. And uh, back by uh, not popular demand, um, it's uh, <laughs> Frank Moran. Um, he's here. Sorry, guys. Here to <laughs> Frank! <laughs> Yay, Frank! There you go. Here to be that turd in the punch bowl. We love you, Frank. That's right. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Happy Go Jackie. Because he's so happy. That's right. It's super. <laughs> Despite the Jackie haters. Come from? This right. I, you know, I always ask that uh, you know, in my mind. I in never, mind. <laughs> in my mind, I did. Because Lim did. doesn't want to have a conversation with me. <laughs> uh, another, another story for another day, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about that. Lim's hoping in a okay. far, far, far distant future. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like never. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a guest again, second time in a row. Super happy, um, and I'm especially happy about this guest. Um, I wish they were live <laughs> in the studio, but they are on Skype. Um, this is my uh, future baby mama, oh. Elise. Oh. Oh. Baby mama. Girl, he just Somebody called. Like, okay. He called dibs on your ovaries. <laughs> I'm messing around. What up, Elise? How He's you not. doing? He's what up? What's going on, y'all? Oh man, we're excited to have you. Yes. Here. Excited to be had. What? Yes. All the flavor. All of it. All of it. Um, <laughs> all of it. <laughs> all of it. Um, yeah, I was super excited when Fox was like, you know what? We're gonna throw Elise your way, and I was like, yes. So excited. Um, well, my, here I is. Yeah. My first question is. Um, what is it like being back in Hell's Kitchen? Because, mm -hmm. you know, you are one of my favorites, if not my all-time favorite, of all the seasons um, because you literally speak your mind and you don't take any mess and it's just great TV. And I just wanted to know what made you want to come back when you got the call, all of that. What was the thoughts? Well, first, let me say thank you. That is so nice. Um, look, when I got the call and it's like a second chance, honestly, I sh felt like I should have won the first time around. So right. I have a lot to prove. Of course, I'm going to say yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, you were third place last time. And mm -hmm. uh, I, f I feel like you, you could have easily won. Um, what, what do you think was the issue with you getting third when you were on your season? Um, yes, I came in third. Last woman left standing, beat out all the red team um, mm -hmm. to get to the finale. Um, I just always felt like they couldn't let the bad guy win. Not that I felt like I was a bad guy necessarily. I just mm -hmm. think that um, I'm brutally honest and everybody can't take honesty. Word. You know, because back in the uh, last week's episode, you were described by some of the other uh, Red Team contestants as the, the most hated person in Hell's Kitchen history. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that's true? Do you feel like that hate from the fans? Or do you feel like, no, you're feeling a lot of love from the fans? Um, whether it's love or hate, it's still an emotion I'm evoking, and so, hey, whatever. Haters are just confused admirers. <laughs> <laughs> they confused. Yes. It's okay, you can hate me. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on the t-shirt. You'll love me later. Oh, Lisa's amazing. I love it. Um, 
So let's break down this episode uh, with the lease, and we have our new addition, uh, the bar menu, um, which mm -hmm. um, is going to be, I, I believe, a recurring theme mm -hmm. uh, with this yeah. particular season. Uh, and uh, it left us off hanging with, you know, the challenge. So just to recap, uh, you have to cook a dish in 40 minutes. You have to make two plates, and the winner will be featured not only on the bar menu for the entire season, but uh, you're safe from that particular elimination. Mm -hmm. um, Correct. And so, um, Elise, how did you feel about this particular challenge uh, when it came um, out? I felt that it would be a good challenge to win just for the immunity alone, because I felt like since I walked in the door, I had a target on my back. Um, they already had preconceived notions about what to expect from me, so I already knew that I was probably going to be on their hit list from uh, the beginning. From the jump. From, from the, jump. the so gate, yes. Because I feel like this challenge is a little different because Chef Ramsey usually tastes all your dishes from the Red and Blue team. Right. This time, he put a little filter in between you uh -huh. and him by putting the sous chefs right there to be able to kind of uh, kind of block that path. So what was it like to have Chef Ramsey potentially not even get a chance to taste your dish? Oh, I wasn't worried about that. I knew I would make the cut to get Chef Ramsey to taste my <laughs> yeah, dish. Yeah, those, those wings were yes. good. I mean, they yes. were real I wasn't good. worried about that. Yes. I was like, dang, he probably got so, he was probably just done with the signature dishes because there was a lot of low scores. And I would think signature dish would be easy because it's free creativity, although we didn't know the ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, it just kind of, it kind of shows what you're made of. And so um, I guess after people failed he's like i don't want to taste this shit we gotta <laughs> keep people out <laughs> i gotta say at least out of all the out of all truly out of everybody that made something i think the only one that was a real bar snack i, I think wings like that's a perfect bar snack everybody else was making to me what seemed kind of more like an appetizer or like a yeah like a bar snack yeah. i think wings are the perfect bar snack well, thank you, girl. You oh, know, I, I had to make the wings gourmet. So. <laughs> gourmet like week. Super juicy. <laughs> I want to find out why was Jared trying to make something he wasn't familiar with? I didn't but I didn't it, understand that. It almost seemed like he had something to prove. Like, I'm that good. I could just do something on the do first something. time doing it and still turn it out. Really? And that's what he food. thought. That's what he thought in his mind. Uh, that's what yeah, I picked That's that. what he thought in his mind, just like he thought it would be okay to refer to the red team as bitches. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, that no, he yeah. did not. Yeah, not cool. I did not. That was, I'm, see, okay, I don't but know. He's is it, always been like. Is it the fumes though in the kitchen, or is it the gas it that's be on? Something, because I was like, oh no, he did not. He I, better be happy. I'm seeing this across the United States, not around <laughs> him. <'cause> he <laughs> <got my question. laughs> well, I don't know why anyone would say that. I mean, I remember in his season, he he had some he some, some interesting little, yeah yeah words and things that he would mm -hmm. say. But my thing is, you live and you learn, right? So you come back, you come back a better chef, but also maybe a better person because right. you've yeah. lived a little bit. And knowing that, like. Yeah. Not. captured they're not they're, then this is not gonna go away this is on right. video and like what you say will be recorded and you, they're gonna find the worst possible nugget of things that you have said exactly. and replay yeah. that yeah. you know no for sure for sure um so um let's see we had uh, lobster tacos by dana um we had seafood poutine by millie uh, of course we had wings by our guest uh shrimp polina we had a, a number of different things um basically the bottom line is we were trying to make it to the top four right mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. each of yeah. your squad so congratulations yeah. uh Thank to you. our guests for making it right. into yes. the top four with them yeah. wings yeah. Make it do um, what it do, baby. yes yes uh lemon pepper wings which i i would love to try i'm, I'm a fan of of wing, I mean, we have Wingstop. I don't know if we have where you live, but we have Wingstop here. So to me, oh, those yeah, are... you know, there is one coming up the street, but I know it won't touch my wings. Okay, right. <laughs> so, I'm I mean, just we need saying, to get like, to yours. I gotta get, go yeah, to we gotta get where we fit in. But <laughs> I, I, yeah, I feel like one that's a, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna be wanting to go out there. It's like, well, when can I go out there and at least, where are you serving wings? When can I go out there? You know what? Yeah. Don't be worrying about what wings I'm trying to try because <laughs> you're just a hater, Frank, because I like to try everyone's food. Why are you mad at that? Like, that's just supporting the people we have on the show. Understood. You know he what? wants some of your wings, girl. Yeah. I just, I love good food. I love good food. Yeah, I, I love good food. Stop it. Okay, guys. It's not nice. She said she's married. So there it is. Um, a guy could dream. <laughs> we can't dream about wings. No, you. <laughs> you, just you. Oh, just me. <laughs> about I'm dreaming about wings. Um, so when all is said and done, um, Mr. Millie wins the entire thing. And um, <laughs> how did you, <laughs> Mr. Millie? Uh, I met Millie. Millie's a cool dude. Um, mm -hmm. How did you? I mean, obviously, at least when you come into these challenges, you want to win every time, right? You want to win yes. every time. That's always you the goal. You want to win every time, or you want to be at least in the top of the, the challenges. Top of it. Okay. Right. Did you um, did you feel some kind of way about Millie winning? You know that particular challenge, or did you feel like you had the best dish? How did you feel? I mean, me personally, I couldn't see Chow and Donald's and seafood poutine, yeah. but everybody's taste is different. 
Me personally, I wouldn't go to a restaurant and be like, oh, let me get, get a poutine. beer and some seafood poutine. Like, that's right. no. <laughs> Sorry. That's not I would have gotten my wings because you compare that with either wine if you're a wine drinker or beer. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So. Was it weird for anybody that uh, for the red team that um, Christine Christina was on the same season as Dana and that Dana made it into the top four? Like, did, um, that, did that feel weird to anybody? I was kind of. I like, feel like it felt. It felt. Me. It I, felt I weird to her. Goal chasing. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't got time to be worrying about who was on what with who. Like, right. I ain't, I wasn't here, and I'm not here to make friends. You know what I mean? I'm here to win a prize. Exactly. I feel like she felt some kind of way because okay. here she you are. She definitely did. Yeah. She definitely did. She's on the season. You're like, here's the person that's now over you. Right. Like, it's kind of And you're on the season yeah. together. Yeah. It's kind of like you being homies, and then all of a sudden, two years later, she's, she's like your, your teacher. Or, yeah. Or your, or, your, or your boss. But that's not a twisted. surprise. No. It was definitely awkward interactions between them for the first dinner episode, for sure. Really? It, was, it was a little weird. It was weird. Mm. And yes. I feel like if I remember, I mean, I watched every single season. I feel like on their season, they were like homies. I, I feel like oh. they were. Well, she even um, says now that they they still they are they are friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like they were cool on their season. So, and you didn't expect that you know to cross paths like that again, uh, but it did. So um, hopefully it works out further on in the season because that would be weird for that whole time mm-hmm. that you're on the show yeah. to be feeling some kind of way about you know yeah. the sous chef. For sure, um, it's a distraction for sure. Well, for sure, for sure. So Millie wins, uh, and then um, and that was the first individual challenge. So we see a different format. We see some differences with this particular season. Obviously, you all are you know the cream of the crop, right? I um, mean, this is second chance season. So I feel like we're going to see more things where it's going to be heightened competition, yeah, like this was traditional, yeah, non-traditional yeah, exactly. Yeah. For sure. This was an individual competition, which we typically don't see until Black Jackets wins the top six. So we've already started with that, um, and I like that. I like mixing it up. Um, I feel like everyone has something to prove. They're coming mm-hmm. back. They want to take that one spot. They feel they were robbed or whatever There's the case is. There's no more is. baby steps. Exactly. These are all exactly. Oh, yeah. Everyone's out to draw blood and certainly exactly. in it for redemption. Sure. And sure. it starts at the gate. Right. <laughs> Um, we do see some complications with Mr. Ben. Um, he has some diabetic problems. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, like, he's talking about his diabetes, and I'm pretty sure he was eating a bowl of ice cream as he's like, I'm going to go check <laughs> my sugar. <laughs> I'm not shit. I'm not kidding you. That's why I think was happening. I didn't see no ice cream. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it was, was, he like, was he eating ice cream? I didn't cream? know it was ice cream. He's, what else Stop. is white and you eat out of a bowl? He's like, I got to go check my sugar. I'm like, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> not looking good. Not looking look good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's wrong? We had a, had a banana split. Like, oh my God, my diabetes is killing me. Uh, bless his heart. Oh, bless his heart. Oh, that's serious. That's, See, that's crazy. the struggle. That's I the can struggle neither confirm one. or deny that, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. We love you, Ben. Um, we love you. <laughs> also, this was interesting, and I want to kind of get your your take on it, um, Elise. That he said this was the biggest dinner service yet. So mm. I was confused. I was like, is this the big, biggest dinner service at this point in time in the competition, or like ever? In the I mean, we're talking about seventeen. Yeah, we're talking about seventeen seasons. What What did he mean by that, Elise? I think he meant like ever, 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 ever. Really. Emma. So biggest, like there was the most people, like guests that you had to serve. Is um, that what it was? It the was biggest menu. It was a packed house, and we had some pretty big names there. We had Jordan Sparks, and right. we had the people from that. Uh, what Criminal is it? New York Mind. Undercover. Criminal, 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 Minds. Minds. Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds. Yeah, Minds. yeah. That's why I keep sweating. Dang, I went way back with it, New York <laughs> Undercover, but right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, who? Uh-huh. So it was <laughs> well, probably probably the menu then. Well, that and the menu yeah. and the fact that and, he's bringing and definitely in the chef's table. a different, a, a completely revamped menu with the um, exception of Wellingtons, but they were seafood Wellingtons. Right. Um, right. So yeah. it, it was the most proteins and sides on it on their menu yet. So yeah, yeah, there was, was a was smoke a big machine. Right, mm-hmm. right. They were doing it real big well, uh, for the, the first dinner service. Yeah, what's it for like sure. when these breaking uh, when they're breaking down the menu for you? And I see everybody with their notepads out mm-hmm. and they're writing everything down. Is it? Yeah. Is your mind just melting down as you're watching all this? Um, your mind scrambles to say the least. Um, like literally, you guys see it in its little snippets, but it literally went that quick when they demoed the food. They were cooking so fast and talking so fast, and then I can't understand um, one, the other sous guy. chef. And I'm like, what did he just say? His accent is thicker than butter on bread. I is was it? like, what did he just say? And I'm, so I'm trying to keep up. Uh-huh. So yeah, it was it was definitely a lot to take in. That's good to know that it. it feels for you the way it feels for us just watching. Oh, it definitely <laughs> was anxiety-filled, trying to 
retain this information, trying to function under the stress of this is our first dinner service, the first dinner service. You, you really just don't know what to expect. It's right. not like we get this stuff the night before to study. They literally like, boop, here you go, and the uh -huh. doors are open. And you're like, oh, my God. Done. Had you ever um, used a smoker, smoking machine before, the, the smoker machine? Is that what it was? Smoker um, no. <laughs> I was going to keep it real with y'all. I was like... <laughs> How you say that? Like that? No, I've never used that before. How do you do well. this? Oh, um, I, I don't feel like during dinner service I saw anybody actually using the smoker. I didn't either. What we was did. Smoked? We did. Did you? Yeah. Um, but yeah, for the tuna tartars, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, for the tuna tartars. Gotcha. It also uh, seems like um, that he's relying more on the sous chefs this time around, mm -hmm. like with them kind of teaching you guys to make these dishes um, and having them taste during the you know the challenge. Um, is that something that uh, you feel like was more so this particular season than when you were on, Elise? Oh, I'd say for sure. When I my season, we had Chef Andy, uh -huh. and um, I definitely remember her being hands on, but not as hands on as Christina this season. Okay. Yeah, I feel like he's relying on them a lot. Yeah. And I don't know if it's because of the caliber of chefs well, he yeah, has. I mean, he's got all-stars now. He did, you know, right. I feel like he could probably feels comfortable stepping back a bit. Stepping back and letting them yeah. do their thing. Um, so, yeah, let's get into dinner service. Um, you also had chef tables on the opening night with the guests, mm -hmm. Jordan Sparks and uh, Joe Mon, uh, Tegna. Um, Tegna. Tegna, thank you. Tegna. Thank you. I'm glad you guys to... took that bullet. I'm yeah, I was, yeah, I was just trying <laughs> <laughs> Criminal Minds. I should have stuck with that. The guy from Criminal Minds. <laughs> So uh, it starts off uh, dinner service. Uh, Ashley starts off bad with the carbonara. Um, and at least you actually tried to help her with that. Uh, how, how did that work? Um, it didn't work because everybody's <laughs> like catty and no one wants to take advice from anyone else. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to tell her, like, you about to scramble the mag, Joe. Like, you got the easiest thing to cook on the menu. Like, the easiest thing. Mm -hmm. And... Sure enough, she scrambled them and took them on up there. I was just waiting, like that coming back. <laughs> <laughs> coming back. That's the exact facial expression you had. <laughs> he was like, they're broken. And she was like, I told you, you're going to break it, and it's broken. <laughs> it's completely broken. I, do you feel like it's a little bit of, of hatred, though? Because everybody, of course, is good. And so for you to try to help somebody, um, do you think that people take offense to that because it's like, no, I know what I'm doing. Oh, uh, it's definitely a pride thing at the end is. of the day. Okay. It's definitely a pride thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, cause, but some people, I mean, I mean, if, if like what you said is true, I mean, I feel like if you have the easiest thing and you're not doing it right, then take the help. No? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you would think so, but no, that's not how it went at all. Not she sent went. up scrambled eggs. Okay, scrambled <laughs> eggs. That's not how it works. I know that. I, and, uh, I still, even after all, after these many seasons, like that, people will still go up to the pass, kind of really like, no, this is probably isn't going to be really good, but I'm going to bring it up yeah. anyway. Yeah. Like, what are you expecting when he comes back and he smashes food right in front of everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess you're expecting in the moment, you're under pressure, they keep calling for it, mm -hmm. and you're hoping that it flies by, but it, it just, it literally never does. You're better <laughs> off just sending out the best product. Ah. Yeah. Well, that's you're, right. you're better off doing it right the first time and skipping embarrassment and taking a little longer. Just take that good L. What was the guy on appetizers? Josh. Um, and he was taking his time. Yeah, it was Josh. Sure it was Our boy Josh. Yeah, he yeah. was on last week, he Josh. Was yeah. yeah, he was Hi, doing Josh. his thing. I, hey. I, I couldn't be mad at him. I mean, I feel like as Chef is yelling at you, you want to mm -hmm. just throw it up there, but yeah. I, I respected him right. for that. No, I think you have to, especially at this level of the game, because mm -hmm. everybody's supposed to be good. If you're making, uh, you know, for lack of a better term, stupid errors or errors that, you know, a novice should be making, then it looks really bad. And when it comes time for elimination, you know you're going to be on the top and bottom. Right, yeah. Um, we have Robin made some good Wellington, and you said it was seafood Wellington. What is the difference? Yeah. Obviously, with the, the the traditional beef Wellington, it's a, a fillet that's wrapped in um, the pastry or what have you. What is okay. a seafood Wellington? How does that work? Lobster. Oh, it's lobster. I want yes. to try that. It looked good. That's, is it, I would assume that that's like how do you get it to cook this? Because lobster doesn't take very long to cook, right? How do you? Well, it doesn't take the same amount of time to cook as the beef Wellington for sure. No, yeah. no yeah. way. Yeah. Lobster cooks very quickly. Right. Yeah. Which no, tastes I, better? Mm -hmm. Lobster. Yeah, which tastes better? <laughs> she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a lobster. She All said, right. she that thought she meant so which tastes better. Because like, yeah. it does. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, sure. Um, Elise had some bomb chicken. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to Elise and her chicken. Uh, is that your, what, what, what do you, is that your favorite thing? Shut up. Is that your favorite thing to cook? Um, now that I'm all about my muscles. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh.
lens out. Oh, Look at that. Hi. That was so bomb. Lem's Girl, eyes. Girl, Lem almost out fell out of the chair. Lem <laughs> almost <laughs> fell the out of oh the chair Lord. just now. You should see his face. Here we go. Hang um, on. We okay, here. so we were, ta- <laughs> we were talking about chicken. <laughs> Shout out to Elise's chicken. You know what? Quit hating. Okay, I'm moving on. Anyway, anyway, you see how they hate on me, Elise, all the time. They always hate. Okay, so moving on. Moving on. Uh, we had some mess ups. Ben screws up the salmon. Oh, um, tough was he? Ben. I know the uh, diabetic ice cream. And which then, one of you guys? You know. know what? <laughs> I'm done. I can't. What were you gonna say, Ashley? Which one? Didn't one of you guys predict he was gonna win the whole thing last uh, week? Uh, oh, oh no. no. Oh, I said Benjamin. Okay. Oh, Benjamin. Oh, Benjamin. Oh, Benjamin. Okay. Okay. Oh, Benj- oh, yeah. Yeah, Benjamin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Not Ben. No. Yeah. Right. No. So I. He did like his beard. It's better than a goatee. Okay. I did like yeah. that. Yeah, it is. Uh, but yeah, no, Just I did, did, did not do that. No, you um, make sure you check with yeah. them. They'll switch up quick. <laughs> I did want to ask you about, uh, you know, since we're on the, we talked about the Wellingtons, um, you did throw up an undercooked Wellington at some point. And no, it wasn't undercooked Wellington. It was an undercooked strip. Oh, <laughs> undercooked strip. Yeah. Excuse me. Come on. Get it right. Come Wait. correct. Get it right. Um, get it tight. Okay. <laughs> okay. It was under it. Not you know a what? Uh, okay. <laughs> that's why you're here. <laughs> Wait, one steak was undercooked. But that's yeah. is that that's the one. That was under. Second. One was over. Shit, I lost yeah. count. Okay. Was one, the I second was under. On that damn steak station. And you know what really made me mad is that uh-huh. steak is like my specialty. Mm. Is it? For me, the mistake was relying on what they were showing us how to cook the steak instead of going with my instinct. Mm, I see. So, so that's yeah. how that happened. And then you all yeah. had to go. They had to go and apologize oh, God. to the oh. uh, to the people that were eating. Was that like devastating? Like was that embarrassing? Beyond it looked, embarrassing. It looked really I bad. I felt that for you. Oh, but I so. thought it was really, really, really nice how everyone was like, you guys can do it. Go in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll starve. Don't worry. Just, you know, <laughs> do it. We ain't paying really for this sweet. no way, so I ate before I came. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. <laughs> that, was, that was really sweet. Oh, man. Because you had looked That's defeated terrible. at that point. You're like, look, yeah. I'm sorry. It's well, my fault. I definitely I'm a... was beyond defeated. I was pissed. Yeah. So I'm like, I know how to cook steak, but right. I'm trying to cook it the way they told me to cook it. I should have right. just went on my instincts. I do like the, the the point that you like made it like, look, I messed up. Because there's a yeah. lot of people that are on these shows, mm-hmm. the Hell's Kitchen, that would be like, nah, man, it was... It was the burner. Was or, yeah, it was the burner. Or, no, it was the skillet. Yeah, exactly. My pan was too hot. Yeah. Or, or, or so and so touched it. Like yeah, yeah. Well, I can't remember who it was, but he's like, oh, he, he touched I told it. Him it yeah, right. Exactly. It, it was, was uh, perfect. I brought up the camera yeah, lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah the camera up. light. <laughs> there's so many people that have excuses, but I did like the fact yeah. that you own to your mistake, and that's dope. So I feel like any that. successful person knows that there's failures along the road to success. So sure. say that again. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. What a good leader say? takes responsibility, so yep. I take responsibility for them jacked up ass steaks. That's <laughs> I liked your backup technique though, where you're like, okay, I'm gonna do two, it, two, two it once, just off. in case, like just in case. <laughs> even though that didn't work either. But I know, but it was a good right. effort and a great thought. <laughs> oh, thank um, you. So you all got um, eventually got kicked out. Well, we didn't, um, well, we get to see. I mean, at least got some assist from the blue team. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Well, they got yeah. assist from oh, the blue team, it. but then they still. <laughs> Got kicked out, and the blue team had to finish. Yeah, well, yeah, but I mean, they came over to help her cook the steaks. Oh, they. Did. He came yeah. over to yell at her. G- he came yeah. over to scream. He definitely did yeah. yell at me, and I was already like thin for patience, right. and I was just trying to, trying to think to myself, show them the growth, show them the growth. <laughs> it was like it's like a constant fight against season nine, at least, where you just want to cuss people out. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Like. Was he was he annoying at all, or were you just dealing um, with the whole situation just, as a whole? He was a little annoying, and you could tell he was under pressure. Uh huh. And. It, it was just, there was a lot of things I could have done better on the steak station. For one, I should have tempered the steaks. They were very cold, and I was cooking them from cold. Mm-hmm. And so they were getting like a hard sear outside and cold in the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was just little simple things that I could have done to make it better. And then by that time, once you run through so many steaks, you don't have any sitting out. They're all cold, you know? Right, right, right. right. No, true. Um, yeah. So is yeah. It, yeah, is it right before the first service? Are you? Is the whole red team getting together and saying, no matter what, guys, we are finishing the service? Did you guys have that talk beforehand? And before everything? Negative, no. Sir. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, not they did not, and nope. it, yeah, because um, Manda sent up the last thing that we saw, uh, at least uh, that was shown to us, was Manda sending up the bad salmon, 
And then it was like, he's it. You know, you guys several, are out of here. Several, um, And they wouldn't even yeah. put you in Triple H. Oh, yeah, you're right, girl. Yeah, let's, let's, several. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, you not call me on, like, you set up about 11 states. I said he set up bad like, salmon. I'm calling everybody. Like, let's call her salmon. <laughs> <laughs> I said she set up that bad was, salmon. That was the hot skillet. Oh, Remember yeah. her oh, pants? Yeah. 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 That's what she said, yeah. too. <laughs> see, that's the difference. You see what I'm saying? That's the difference. It's like not owning, <laughs> not owning up. Well, she tried to at least start it over, but then he was like, no, bring me up those. Bring me up the sand. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh. when it was too late. That was too bad. Bye-bye. It was all bad. <laughs> all bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, so the yeah, other you, side looked yeah. really good yeah. when he flipped it over. Oh, absolutely. Are you mad when you get kicked out? Or are you thinking, like, we're all stars? You're beyond pissed. Be. Yeah. Like, have there's nothing be. worse to be in the weeds and then get kicked out and you can't even dig yourself out because. Mm-hmm. I mean, when you're at this level as a chef, you're like, I can get out the weeds. I can get out the weeds. It's not about never getting in the weeds. It's about finishing and getting out of the weeds. Right. right. Yeah. I mean, if you worked in any high-end restaurant and you're putting out like 400 tickets for a dinner service, you know that sometimes you're going to get in the weeds. It's about not making stupid mistakes to get you further back in the weeds. Because right. there is a point where you can get so far in the weeds, you just ain't going to get out. And that's kind of what happens when your morale is low, you know? Mm. Like you're feeling like shit and everybody's feeling like shit and everybody's just like, ugh. What happens in that so, kind of situation? It's almost like he puts us out of our misery. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, do you just walk out the kitchen at that point if you, if you get that far low. in the weeds? Like hang on a real, low. like di- real dinner do. service in a real restaurant. Like if, if have you ever experienced that before? Um, I've never got thrown off the line, but yes, I've experienced weeds. Where like, damn, we're getting in the weeds here, but you dig yourself out. Yeah, that's all you can. It seems like all you can do. But you and Barbie have like a real kind of gal pal alliance going on. She seems to was really like backing you. Um, up. I wouldn't say Ooh. so much gal oh. pal oh. is her knowing no one likes her either, and it was kind of like well, no one likes me. So he bonded over. It was that. by default. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of yeah, exactly by default. Bonded like, over the dislike. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, probably yeah. the most important thing though is uh, poor Jordan Sparks. I mean, she I didn't know. get the she, she get the food. Even, she must have been so hungry. Yeah. Yeah. She was so supportive. Yeah, she was so awful. Yeah, that's messed up. She definitely had to go to uh, In and Out or something after that. Um, so, oh gosh! <laughs> Joe so, Montague was excited that he got to eat though. He right? said, "At least we're on the blue team." <laughs> <laughs> or he said, "The guy." Oh, team. I don't know what he team. said. I think he said the guy. Something like that. Um, so again, Elise holding up her end of the bargain. When you guys are deliberating, you said that you deserve to be nominated. So again. I, I think that's dope. I think season nine, at least this at least has grown. And I think, you. you know, you saying that is good because a lot of people, again, won't say that they won't, especially so early too. you know, because mm-hmm. I feel like when it's early, you know, you want to avoid that, you know, that mm-hmm. situation. Um, right. Well, you want to avoid it at all times, but when it's early, you definitely want to avoid it. Well, because you find out any excuse to put anybody else exactly. up in your place. Like, you sneeze. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you, you're right. exactly. You should be up. I mean, <laughs> Get of course up. you want to avoid it, but I think that Chef Ramsey sees honesty, right. and I felt that my best approach was going to be honesty. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I had a bad night, but far as the weakest or who should go home this early, yeah. definitely not me, because if we check the scoreboard, no one else is really scoring in challenges but me. Mm-hmm. So... Word. Clink, Word. Clink. Word. Clink, clink. Okay. Shots fired. Um, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. Uh, the women do argue about who else goes up, um, so there is some some deliberation about that. But at the end of the day, the nominees are yourself and Manda, and uh, you both go up. And um, what do you? Th- I mean, I know. I mean, we've interviewed you know several people, and when you're up for elimination, it's very difficult. And it's obviously not as short as we see. It's very right. edited. Right. So you're up oh there Oh my God. No, yeah. he has to stand out there for like 10 minutes and yeah. you're sitting there and you're shaking and you're sweating and yeah. you're biting your nails like, what am I about to say to him? Right. And then you can see a shadow up <laughs> above in his office pacing back and forth. So you're like, he's pissed. And you're just sitting there like sweating. And then finally he comes out and you're like, heart, your heart is racing. It's nowhere near as painless as they try to show right. it because it is painful standing up on the carpet. Um, so you're sitting there and then... Um, he says, okay, uh, this is what we're going to do. He pulls Diabetic Ben out um, from the blue team, and he nominates him. <laughs> and then it's like he ends up going home. And I'm like, yo, like I didn't, I mean, he's done that before. I'm not going to yes. say I didn't expect that. But I didn't expect that out the gate. Like that's usually and like a move like later. he did it as if he was like fed up. Like, yeah. as, if, as if there were like multiple situations. Right. Like I, yeah. think, I think that was a pure, pro- if I'm speaking my mind, I think that was a pure production thing. They were like, this guy's a liability. Mm-hmm. We can't have him like passing out in the kitchen. And hit his head and on hit his something. Head. Yeah. And so let's, like, these girls don't deserve to go home anyway. Let's just do it right, right and get this guy That might have been a last minute call. 
That's kind of where I'm at with that. Although he did screw up the salmon, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I but can understand that, uh, but I'm always kind of a bummer when they they take they take somebody away from the winning team. It's like mm-hmm. you know, that's the whole point. You you won. You should be able you to should get be a little. able to feel feel safe. Yeah, maybe he would have had a day of recovery and been back on his feet. You know, or well, not if he was still eating right. ice cream. I don't know. <laughs> what is what is your take, Elise, on him uh, choosing? You know, avoiding to choose you two, and then choosing Ben, and then and ultimately sending him home. Um. Well, I was shocked. I mean. I'm not going to lie, you never want to be up for elimination, but the whole time I'm thinking about what I'm going to say to Chef Ramsay, I said, I'm going to just be honest, because if it comes down between me and Amanda, I know I'm not a weaker chef than she mm-hmm. is. So, And it was uh, very clear that your team, majority of your team, yeah. felt the same way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, except Dana, which was, like, weird. She was like, Matt, I would send Elise home. And it's like, yeah, because I'm competition. You want to try to keep around somebody weak, like, boo. <laughs> that's a strategy. But, uh, um, anyway. no, well, that's definitely a strategy. <laughs> definitely I mean, it's a, a strategy. competition. Mm-hmm. Everybody's good at this point, so you want to get rid of people that are strong. Sure. I mean, that yeah. better's your chance. Yeah. I mean, that I'm not mad at that, but of course, to say you're a weaker person and that's why you should go home, obviously, that's incorrect information. So, Correct. bottom line is you're still in the game. So, yay! yay. Cool to that. No one is more excited than Lem about that. (laughs) Can you stop diverting to me? Wait, can I just throw something out there? Was it Ashley that I think came for Elise about crying? And then oh, no, then, and then she's and then she like, all like, wait, all the, I just crying. thought that was yeah. so funny. That was she's funny. like, suck it up. I didn't cry. I went to the And I was like, ooh, lies you like, tell. Yeah. Be lies you tell. You cannot. <laughs> and I love, and you know, they look for they that. Couldn't they couldn't wait. Yeah. I feel like production, they, like, yes. wait like, for that. Like, what did you say? Yeah, they went through Oh, yeah. And went and painstakingly went through every single time. They couldn't No, but they already knew once they said, they were like, okay, let's go find those little bites. Exactly. Go find those. That's hilarious. That was. That's hilarious. Funny. I almost died. Like, yeah. I was like, don't come for her. Do right. not come for her. Yeah. <laughs> Do not. Uh, Only one person's coming for her. That's Lem. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all don't leave me alone. Like, Hi, Lem. This is bad. We give him a hard um, time. You know, I, all that you see what I'm saying? Like, you know, these are supposed to be my friends and my co-hosts, <laughs> and all they do is try to put me under, and I give them. Well, I can see why they're your friends. They're funny. Yes. <laughs> thank oh, you. Thank you. Yes. So anytime. when are we gonna get you in studio? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah when I would you love co- to come in studio and cook for y'all. Oh, oh my god. Yes. yes. Chicken, chicken wings. wings. I want wings. the lemon pepper. It is football season. Then, like, it is. It How is. about? Can you show us some of your workouts too? Can that be part of the deal? Bang, can you bang, like? Oh, the gun, gun, bang, bang. Yeah, yeah I need that too. That's been a good. Oh, there it is. He's up, Lynn. Um, I do want to. I do want to divert to you and, and give you a, a few moments, um, basically, so you can kind of give what you are into, uh, so you can let the fans know what's going on. First of all, where are you cooking at, so people that are in the area that you live in can go and sample your food. I am located in DMV, and I own my own company called Muscle Mills by Elise. Hey, I'm in nice. two locations: um, Five Star Nutrition Stafford and Five Star Nutrition Woodbridge, Virginia. Okay. Um, I help people reach their food and fitness goals with customized prepackaged meal prep. Yes. yes. Okay, do you guys uh, deliver? <laughs> like deliver? The Sin yes, Mail we FedEx? Do. <laughs> yes, we do. What, where y'all at? LA, LA. will be there about a week. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm going to need that. Wait, Woodbridge, where's that? I'm from Chesterfield, Virginia. Do you know where that is? I have no idea, girl. Sounds lovely. Sounds lovely. She's like, sounds like, like, sounds sounds like something Google might be able to tell you. Sounds far. Um, and then w- with, you know, obviously you showed us off on the on the show as well. What is your fitness? Is there, is, I mean, ties into the food, but is there also something else that you do with fitness that you can yep. promote or anything like that? Well, I compete. Um, I do figure. I compete in figure. I compete usually like once or twice a year. Um, I just competed this year in July. I'm also a five-star nutrition ambassador, so I can get you quality supplements at a cheaper price than oh, you would wow. pay at mostly like GNC and stuff, <laughs> uh, but really great quality supplements to help accelerate your your goals. Wow, I also I offer it. online coaching and meal plans. Nice. Right awesome. Lem will be flying out to the Lion to pick those up <laughs> in person. I mean, you know, I just, I just, I want to get healthier. Yeah. You know, I want to get, you know, myself together. So that's good. Health is it's wealth. Know. Health is wealth. Health is wealth. Stop it. <laughs> anyway, um, at least we want to thank you so much for being on the show with us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Let the fans know uh, where they can find you on social media. And if you have a website, definitely let us know. Um, you can find me on Facebook at Elise Wins Diva Chef. 
You can follow me on Instagram at DivaChef412. Follow me on Twitter at EliseTDC. And my website is www.EliseWams.com. Hit me up, y'all. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Yes. hey. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elise. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Come back. Absolutely. Come back. Come Look back. forward to, uh, to seeing what you do the uh, rest of the season. Watch me whip. Yeah. Hey. 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 <laughs> there it is. No, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, Bye. 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 All right. Um, you okay? So, Do you need a moment? Yeah. You know Do you what? Need a moment. I get it. Kind of read. I get it. I have a question. You guys are her. too yeah. much. I like her. She's too got much. so much flavor. She's mm-hmm. dope. She's dope. She's dope. And I remember, like, when she came back, I really was excited because she, her season, she really was. She was the villain. She was. I mean, there's always a villain, right, in these reality competitions. She was definitely the villain. She played it up, but yeah. she really could cook. And I really feel like her being the villain, like mm-hmm. she said, she didn't want the bad guy to win. I really think that was it. I really think if she wasn't the villain, she would have won her season. She was. Yeah. She was. Do you dope. think it was politics like that? I think so. I think maybe that had something to do with it because she was. She was dope. If you ever get a chance, you want to rewatch that season, you could see yeah. um, she was dope. But and love like those bad girls. That's what. <laughs> Gosh. He does. Um, for bad girls and chicken wings. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Ch- the chicken. Ch- Shout out to Elise's chicken. <laughs> I'm just saying shout out to her chicken. Her chicken was good. Like <laughs> why? What's good, yeah, chicken? Yeah. You know what? Some good um, chicken. Yeah. Steve, can you um <laughs> give us the prediction uh, music, please? Can we just do that? <laughs> and now you're after Buzz TV. Okay, so second episode, still early, but these right. are all good chefs. Um, we kind of did this last week, but now that we've seen, you know, kind of what you know the pattern is going and kind of what they're up against, uh, do you see any front runners um, so far? So start with you, Frank. It's uh, it's tough right now. I mean, I still I, I I'm just going to default to my boy Benjamin. Yeah. I want to believe in him. He was quiet this week, mm-hmm. kind of retreated. I feel like he's just laying low. And he's going to come on strong. So you think yeah. like he's gonna just yeah, but stay I, off the radar a little bit? Maybe. I, you, I, I will say, how did you guys feel about like so? Hilly does his seafood poutine. Uh-huh. Uh, that looks so good. But he does it like in that little basket. I was kind of like, all right, I kind of like the presentation of that. Even though I don't know if I would actually order it, but I thought it was kind of a cool presentation. Mm-hmm. Am I the only I've one? I had something like that at a bar for happy hour. Was it good? Mm-hmm. I mean, but yeah, it was good. Poutine is not something uh, Californians really know much about. I'm sure that we yeah. have it here, but it's not. We pop- do, oh, but yeah, it's not. No, do. it's yeah. it's not popular. Like the gravy with the rice. I mean yeah. the rice. Yeah, gravy. Uh, no, no, it's, it's uh, French fries uh, with gravy yeah, and cheese and then, curds. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm Canadian. Well, yeah. my family's Canadian. That's uh-huh. like that's like the l- food of our people. It's big over there. <laughs> it's big, huge over there. Oh, this, this place called though. Plan Check has it. Oh, I love Plan Check. That's right. Yeah. I was like, I had some. Like LA has everything. I'm just saying it's not popular. So yeah, there's no one's like, oh, I'm in the mood for. Food scene. Exactly, like, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Know, there's just something like gravy is. I'm like, not a gravy fan anyway, but gravy and yeah. fries does not. Ever, yeah. It's never sounded appealing to me. Ever. But it's like putting gravy yeah. on your potatoes, yeah. like your mashed potatoes. Boop. It's the same thing, only it's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do not gravy. For Frank, <laughs> apparently. He's a boop. <laughs> uh, Robin, do you see any front runners so far? So I'm definitely digging my girl Elise um, okay. and Michelle. Michelle, okay. Yeah. In those two. And then I'm a Van fan. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I am just a Van fan, honey. Yes, Van, go ahead with your country self. Oh, and man. then Millie reminds me of you. I really? Just, he, remi- he just reminds me. He's just full of personality. <laughs> I'm not sure as far as like his cooking yet, uh-huh. but like just personality wise, yeah. I like Millie. He's he's a cool guy. I met him with Josh at one of those uh, events that, that you um, didn't invite us to. Anyway, yeah, you were invited. You just weren't able to go. Whatever. Mm-hmm. You're busy. Lies. He stays busy. Anyway, um, but he was he was super cool. He was super cool. Super cool dude. Uh, so I I like his personality. I don't know that he's the strongest chef. Yeah, uh, per I'm, se. Not, I'm not sure about not, that. At least yet. Day. At least yet. So oh, confidence um, will take you far. He's got like a ton yeah. of confidence. He does. He does. He does. And he 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 feels like this is definitely. He's. I feel like he's the most great father of everybody yeah. on the second chance. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? So you guys know I'm not big on predictions. It freaks me out. I have commitment issues. But <laughs> that said, I'm going to give you a couple that I'm really like drawn to. And they're mostly from the blue team, to be honest with you. Van. Mm. Van. I'm a Van fan, too, hey. if we want to get that started. <laughs> Just rolls right off the tongue. Van. <laughs> he's um, always red-faced, but seems to always be cool-mannered. <laughs> you know? I mean, she brought that up when we were watching that. And I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like he's going to whip out some red. good stuff. Yeah. Always red. 
red. I, I also agree that I think Elise is pro seemingly the most talented of the red team so far. So mm -hmm. I've, I think she, I really like what she's doing. Um, and uh, let's see. I, I love Millie. I just want to hang out with him. Mm -hmm. um, but as for predictions, I, I feel the strongest about Van going farther. Feel about Van. Yeah. But I can change that next week. So don't. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't nope. count. Don't already locked in. It's locked in. I think, I, think, I think for me, I think Van is definitely one of the more talented, like on the upper echelon. But for me, Van, and I don't know if he's got his, in his season, his downfall was his attitude. Like he had a quick temper. When he was red, Van? like he, Van. Aww. His temper was fast and furious. And so that hurt him. Um, and he would challenge Chef Ramsay, like, Ooh. oh yeah, oh, oh he was yeah, a hothead. yeah, he was a That's hothead. That's why his face is Big red. <laughs> for real, for yeah. real. We saw when he got so, in the face. They showed that clip last week where he got in the face of the yeah, major D. Exactly. So he's he's that dude now. Could have changed. He, you know, learned his, you know, whatever. And he seems more calm. Like he's very high strong, like and very high spirited. Yeah. But I feel like I I don't see him necessarily going to the attitude per se. At least not yet. I, th I do feel like, though, there's something to, like, um, g you know, geniuses or whatever that ha they have that confidence of knowing that, like, I got this and mm -hmm. they just can't even hold back the attitude, which is what gives me more confidence that he's right. going to do well. Mm. <laughs> so I could see, I don't know. We'll see. I just think he's cute. Oh. There you go. <sighs> okay. Um, don't try to give me shade because you're all over the um, And don't pretend that you're not a big fan of Elise. I'm, right. I, I'm a big fan of Elise because yeah. she's talented. She's very talented. <laughs> and I think she's going to go far. <laughs> And that's it. That's so yeah. stop Talent. hating. Um, <laughs> she has good wings. She has lemon pepper wings, and they're great. Great. So I, I just want somebody chicken. to make a gift of, of her flexing, and then Lem just like. <laughs> 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 they almost fell out the chair. Yeah. I did not almost that. fall out the chair. I'm lying <laughs> to these people. They <laughs> saw it. I did not almost fall out the chair. Whatever. Anyway, um, for I, I do like Elise. I, you know what? A dark horse for me, Dana. Um, Dana also did pretty well on her season. Um, I think hers was more of a confidence thing. Mm. So I think if she, you know, she has the issue with, not issue, but it's kind of awkward with Christina. Yeah. But I feel like if she can overcome that, I think she can definitely shine. Um, and I don't see her being drama queen, you know? Yeah. So I don't see her she doing seems that. Like she keeps a cool head. Yeah, very even keel. Whereas a lot of these other contestants that we do see mm -hmm. can get high strong and can get argumentative and all of that. Yeah. So just on that merit, um, I think she definitely has potential. So. Well, I like the one soundbite from Michelle because I feel like, oh, right, she did good with that that bar the bar menu item. But uh -huh. when they do the bite about uh, Jordan Sparks, like, well, you know, she was the youngest person with American Idol. Oh, yeah. I'm the youngest yeah. person. Like, oh, yeah. all right, please. Yeah. <laughs> please. That has <laughs> nothing. I do remember yeah. that. That was. Funny. Uh, that has nothing to do right. with anything. I was like, <laughs> mm, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, no, no, not at all. She just likes Jordan as much. Yeah, and it's sort of like it's usually like sometimes that they if they have a celebrity there, they at least like bring the blue team over to finish. So uh -huh. At least the the, the red red that's that chef table can get served. Mm -hmm. Poor, you know, that's what like, we should have asked Elise if yeah, it actually got finished for it. Well, she we made the comment that she didn't get fed and she didn't say anything. So yeah. I don't know if but she just... But I guess she wouldn't know if they if were asked gone. to leave. Oh, the that's game. right. That's true. <laughs> Technically, that's true. now that I think about it. I'm that's sure she true. got some food. I'm sure she did. I mean, at she least She was her. at the chef's table. She right. had to get some food. She got some food. Um, I don't think anybody else on that side got it. Because um, I, I do know that they'll tell you that if you uh, if you go there, that you're there's not no guaranteed. guarantee. Yeah, oh, wow. like that's in the clause when you go to the soundstage. So poor Key so. Sweat, maybe not got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> poor Key Sweat might have been like. No, he was eating the mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, he was. Right. Right. Oh, okay. He said so he the got some. Was good. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be like nobody. <laughs> got some Who's food. Who's gonna feed me my food? <laughs> nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he sweat. Dope. Um, yeah. Well, I think we got it. Um, oh, wait, we didn't even talk about Elise and Robin's whole skerfuffle in the end. They got real tense. <laughs> it's oh, that, at the very end. Again. It's a skerfuffle. I love it. Skerfuffle. I think that's going to be the segue <laughs> we'll, we'll into. The, in we'll the see it at the beginning um, of the. And there's, I think there's going to be a lot more. Um, uh, arguing, if I could say that. I mean, it sounds so loose, but because everyone is good, it's mm -hmm. going to be hard. Like when it gets to deliberations, like who's not good, like who should be up Narrow for deliberation. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. it's going to be harder. Like I feel like in normal seasons, you got the you know, there's going to be eight people that are just not going to win. So it's just a matter of weeding them out, and so it's easier with eliminations. But with this being a good group of chefs, it's yeah. going to be harder when it comes time to that. 
those mm -hmm. deliberations. Mm -hmm. So I think that's just foreshadowing. So we'll see. I will say, and we kind of touch, touch about this briefly, just mm -hmm. how they've escalated everything this season right. in terms of the challenges and their, what they have to do. Yeah, it's going to be whatever the next season is going to be. I feel it's going to be kind of a letdown if they kind of revert back to the normal form. Like, sure. Well, like it, it really no, they're, they're the setting end. the bar, so it can't go right. back. Right. to the normal format after this season. Right. I don't think it can. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It'll they're going to have to like get some social media yeah. involved and like have people voting. Yeah. Or something. They're going to have to switch it up. We'll see. I mean, it may be. I mean, I think this show has been on 17 seasons, so it's obviously yeah. huge longevity. So it'll be interesting. And they do little changes here and there, um, subtle changes just to keep things, you know, spicy. But we'll see. I, I, I do a shout out to the opening credits where because I hate the dumb ones they oh. do with all the chefs, and they're like, I'm in a circus. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm a little midget person. Right. Oh, no. No. It's like, it's like it's just Ramsey just doing yeah, his thing. just doing his thing. No, I did. I did like that. That was different. I like that. I enjoy that. Yeah. That's always so dumb. Boo. Oh. Can't entertain uh, that. Anyway, um, ladies and gentlemen, that's been our show. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Thank Elise, our guest, uh, for joining us. And uh, we're excited about seeing her um, do her thing this season. Shut yeah, up. You are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. I've been your host, Lim Gonzalez, and you can find me always at The Poet Saint all day, every day. And you can check out my website, stayonthemic.com. Ashley, where you at? Oh, hey, guys. You can find me at Ashley on camera, everywhere on the internet. Holla. Thanks for joining us, guys, and keeping it live in the live chats. I'm your girl, Robin, with the V Mix Sweetie, and you can find me at B Stay Busy. Uh, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Happy Go Jackie, and then join us a little bit afterwards because uh, Lem's going to be running the Elise fan page. We're going to do a little after show just dedicated to <laughs> all things Elise. Got <laughs> anyway, got one until, more in there. <laughs> until next week, we'll see. You. Peace. Shout out to Elise's <laughs> <laughs> chicken. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire After Buzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the After Buzz TV Network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments and questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of After Buzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of After Buzz TV or its owners or principals.